The app router in Nixious introduced two advanced routing patterns. We've already learned about parallel routes. Now let's dive into intercepting routes. Let's tackle this in two parts. First, we will understand the core concepts and conventions. Then we will see how to put them to practical use. Intercepting routes is an advanced routing mechanism that allows you to load a route from another part of your application within the current layout. It is particularly useful when you want to display new content while keeping your user in the same context. To help understand better, let me give you a couple of real-world examples. Consider a login flow. Typically, clicking a login link would take you to a new page. But with intercepting routes, you can display a modal instead while still updating the URL to slash login. This means sharing that URL or refreshing the page still works as expected, showing the full login page. Or consider a photo gallery. Instead of jumping to a dedicated photo page, when someone clicks an image, you can show a modal with the enlarged photo and details like the photographer's name and location. The URL updates to match the specific photo, making it shareable. Accessing that URL directly will show the photo's full page. Of course, defining intercepting routes in an XJS application involves certain conventions. Let's dive into VS Code and understand them through examples. We will start by setting up our folder structure. In your app folder, create a new folder named F1, short for folder1, with a page.tsx file containing a simple React component. page.tsx, export default function F1 that returns an H1 tag F1 page. Inside F1 folder, let's create another folder F2 with its own page.tsx. So f2 slash page.tsx. Here, export default function f2, return an h1 tag that says f2 page. Next, let's update our f1 component to include a link to f2. So import link from next slash link. And for the jsx, add a div tag with the link component pointing to f2, href is equal to slash f1 slash f2. Remember, f2 folder is nested inside f1 folder. In the browser, when you visit localhost 3000 slash f1, you will see the f1 component with a link to f2. Clicking this link will take you straight to slash f1 slash f2. We see the JSX f2 page. Let's change this behavior with an intercepting route. To understand intercepting routes conventions better, Let's think about two key elements, the source folder and the target folder. We want to intercept the F2 route when navigating from F1 route. So F1 is our source folder and F2 is our target folder. Let's start by creating a new folder in our source folder. This will be our intercepting route. The folder name needs to match our target folder, F2. But we need a special prefix to make it work. For now, I'll just add intercepted hyphen as a placeholder while I explain the actual prefix we need. The prefix we use is super important because it tells Next.js where the target route is located. Notice how both F2 and intercepted F2 are at the same level in our folder structure. When we want to intercept a route at the same level like this, we use a dot inside parentheses notation. So let's replace intercepted hyphen with parentheses with a dot inside. Inside this folder, we'll create a page.tsx file with a React component that shows our intercepted content. So export default function intercepted f2, we return an h1 tag with the prefix and text that says intercepted f2 page. Restart the dev server with npm run dev and navigate to slash f1 in the browser. Click the f2 link. The URL updates to slash f1 slash f2, but shows the intercepted content. Refreshing this page loads the original f2 page instead. This is the idea behind intercepting routes. It lets you show alternate UI while preserving context, but defaults to the standard UI on direct page loads. The first convention you need to know about intercepting routes is pretty straightforward. We use a dot within parentheses to match segments that are at the same level in your folder structure. 
This is similar to relative path convention where we use a dot to refer to the current folder. Now what if you want to intercept something that is one level up? No problem. We just use two dots within parentheses as the prefix. Similar to how we use two dots to refer to the parent folder in relative path convention. Let me show you what I mean with an example. Let's create a new folder called F3 in our app directory. So within app, new folder, F3. Create a page.tsx file with a simple React component. Export default function F3 that returns an H1 tag F3 page. Now head over to page.tsx in the F1 folder and add a link to F3. The text is F3 and the href slash F3. When you try this in the browser, clicking this F3 link takes you straight to slash F3. This renders F3 page. But let's make it more interesting by intercepting this route. For this example, our source folder is F1, where we are navigating from. And our target folder is F3, where we want to go. So inside the source folder, F1, we'll create a new folder that matches our target folder name, F3. So new folder, F3. We need a special prefix to make it work, but I will just add intercepted hyphen as a placeholder while I explain the actual prefix we need. Since F3 is one level above where we are in the folder structure, we'll use dot dot within parentheses as our prefix. Kind of like when you use dot dot slash to go up one folder in file paths. Inside this folder, let's create a page.tsx file with a component that shows we have successfully intercepted the route. So page.tsx and default export a function called intercepted F3 that shows the prefix as well as the content intercepted F3 page. Give your dev server a quick restart, npm run dev, and now in the slash F1 route, when you click that F3 link, the URL still shows slash F3, but you will see our intercepted content instead. If you refresh the page, you'll get back to the original F3 content just as you would expect. Hopefully the convention is starting to make sense. Now let's see how to match segments that are two levels above in our folder structure. Let's start by creating a new folder called F4 in our app directory. Inside it, we'll add a simple page.tsx file. Export default function F4 and return an H1 tag that says F4 page. For this example, we're going to intercept the F4 route when navigating from F2. So let's add a link to F4 in our F2 page. Import link and invoke it to navigate to F4. href is going to be slash F4. If you try this in the browser, by navigating to slash F1 slash F2 and clicking on F4, it takes you directly to slash F4 and you see the F4 page content. But we are going to change that behavior. For this scenario, our source folder is F2, where we are navigating from, and our target folder is F4, where we want to go. Inside the source folder F2, we'll create a new folder that matches our target folder name, F4. We need a special prefix to make it work, but I will just add intercepted hyphen as a placeholder while I explain the actual prefix we need. Since F4 sits two levels above where we are in the folder structure, we will use parentheses with two dots and another set of parentheses with two dots. This is our prefix to go up two folders. Inside the folder, let's create a page.tsx file with a component that shows we have successfully intercepted the route. So export default function intercepted F4, the prefix, and the content. Now, give your dev server a quick restart, npm run dev, and try it out. When you load slash f1 slash f2, you should see the link to f4. Click the link, and you will see our intercepted content instead of the original f4 page. If you refresh the page, you'll get the regular f4 route UI back. This is exactly what we want with intercepting routes. This double parentheses with two dots inside convention 
is super useful when you need to intercept routes that are multiple levels up in your folder structure. Think of it like using dot dot slash dot dot slash in regular file paths. It is the same concept, just adapted for Next.js routing. So that is our third intercepting routes convention. Next, let's look at the final convention for intercepting routes, using three dots within parentheses to match segments from the root app directory. First, let's create a new folder called f5 in our app directory, f5, and add a page.tsx file with a simple React component. Export default function f5, and we return an h1 tag f5 page. Next, inside our f2 folder, we will create an inner f2 folder with a page.tsx that includes a link to f5. So the folder name is inner f2 with a page.tsx file that default exports a React component with a link to slash f5. In the browser, navigate to slash f1 slash f2 slash inner f2 and you will see the link to f5. Clicking it currently takes you directly to the f5 route slash f5. But what if you want to intercept this route? In this case, our source folder is inner f2, where we are navigating from, and our target folder is where we want to go. Inside source folder, inner f2, we will create a new folder that matches our target folder name, f5. We need a special prefix to make it work, but I will just add intercepted hyphen as a placeholder while I explain the actual prefix we need. Since F5 lives multiple segments above our current position, we can use a special convention, parentheses with three dots inside. This tells Next.js to match segments starting from the root app directory. So from the root app directory, there's a folder F5. Let's create our intercepting route with a page.tsx file. Export default function intercepted F5, and we return an h1 tag with the prefix and the content. Now, when you restart the dev server, npm run dev, and navigate to slash f1, slash f2, slash inner f2, and click the f5 link, you will see our intercepted route instead of the original f5 page. But if you refresh, you'll get the regular f5 route back exactly as we want. This is the fourth convention, using three dots within parentheses to match segments from the root app directory. So to wrap things up, intercepting routes give you this powerful ability to show content from another part of your app while keeping your user in their current context. And this slide here is a quick cheat sheet of the conventions we have covered. I know intercepting routes can feel a bit complex at first, and that is totally normal. Up next, we'll look at a practical example that should make all of this click. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.